This is the Up and Down. It is Cedar Creek Sunday. I thought I'd share some pregame thoughts before I get to the course. Just try to uh, talk my way through where I am mentally, what I'm trying to do to be ready for the round. Let's talk about goals. A number is not a goal. Uh, how we get to that number is more of a reasonable way to think about goals, I think. So how do we get to a number that we'll be happy with? Well, small goals. Goal one, lose no balls off the tee. Uh, goal two has to do with my putting, which has actually been pretty poor since, well, all, all year, I would say it's been below average for me. Uh, just doesn't feel right. There's putts I should be making that are nowhere close. And uh, here's what we're going to do. My thought last night, um, I, I tinkered with the garage just a little bit, didn't grab any video of it, but I want to focus more on the hole and line up my putts visually as I stand over them just a little bit longer. Uh, I'm also going to go back to the 2015-2016 era uh, way that I read putts, which is the walk around. I'm incorporating a little bit of the aim point, but I'm not actually using the finger method. Um, what I am going to do is straddle the line and get a read that way. But I want to walk around, walk off the putt, think about distance, give myself a number to think Are about for distance, just to sort of calibrate my brain a little bit. Um, and then I want to hit a good putt after having looked at the hole at least three times. Uh, something that Lisa's Uncle Tom said when we were golfing at Wild Ridge was uh, commentary about short game, thinking at your target and then glancing at the ball, focusing on the target and glancing at the ball, an old Seve Ballesteros thing. So I, I incorporated that into some putting practice last night. It felt like a good move, so I'm going to try that. Um, the strategy for the course. I want to hit driver off the tee on one, two, six, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. That's probably it. Uh, we're going to need long irons off the tee on the rest. Uh, a few six irons, a few seven irons. Uh, there's a wedge in there for two of the par threes on the back. So those will be. Uh, those will be the tee shots, and that's the, the gameplay. I, I think driver needs to turn right if it turns, and irons can turn left if they turn. So kind of nice that they have the course set up in such a way that my irons can play to my miss, and my driver can play to my miss. So if I was the fried egg looking at shot shaping and preparing the course, uh, this is a good course for me. And of course, I shot 82, which was a good number for me. It's a pretty good number for a third flight on a TRGA Sunday as well. Uh, and I did that just two weeks ago. So I feel good about my ability to play this course. Uh, now let's talk about weather for a second. It's been calling for rain all day on Saturday and Sunday for the last several days. Uh, even the hourly last night looked like it'd be thunderstorms all morning. And I wake up this morning and it's just cloudy and the ground especially pavement is dry so it hasn't been raining in the last couple of hours it hasn't been raining since I woke up uh, the hourly shows that we will get some rain around 3 but that could be as late as 4 IT off at 11 18 so if we play a four hour round which is a TRGA norm I'm gonna get this round in without getting wet enough jibber jabber let's get to the course
get it. Back to back doubles, not what we want. But those are tough holes and I was out of position off the tee. So out of position off the tee twice, obviously that's a problem. Uh, gotta get the tee shot playable. So here comes another driver hole. Should be a good one. I'll run out. Great. Thank you. 
mole look like that. Oops. I've been yelled at before. <laughs> oh, jeez. Twice. It's the same thing I did, right underneath it. Sit down. Joe going? Yep. I don't think we could have placed a couple of balls better than that, you know? this you have no option to even hit another shot right we get in we get him in the cart we get in okay okay there's some weather i'm gonna be safe rather than sorry that's a spinner that needs to go no it did all right so you were playing 190 yep
Alright. Well, like the heavy stuff is gonna come down for quite a while. So we had to go in for a little bit of a rain delay. I grabbed three quarters of a beer and a handful of cheese curds. So feeling rejuvenated, feeling refreshed or something. What I'm hoping to do here is basically get home with a par and then another par for an 82. The flight ahead of me, the winners are at 80. So 82 should be in the money. Watching Anthony tee off now, we'll get going and we'll finish up. I'm gonna have like 70 yards in. I smoked the seven, I hit it pretty low. So we'll see where it ends up number wise, but I like the look here, kind of a front pin, very gettable. Not, not trying to do too much. Pulling out of Cedar Creek. Shot 83, uh, beat myself up over the putt on 17 that I lipped out from like two feet for par. Uh, ended up not mattering. 81 took home first place in my flight. I finished second with the 83. So I got 85 bucks and a $15 skin for the birdie on two. I made mean, birdie on that par five. Uh, so that skin was worth 15 bucks, which was nice. There's a very nice C7 Corvette in front of me. It is, looks like road race ready. It's a big body kit, wide stance. Big wing on the back. Yeah, we can both go to speed limit though. Anyway. Um, feel pretty good about my round. Shot 83, two strokes off of the lead to win third flight. Uh, ultimately, 83 is a great score. And it is also very clear where I need to do my work. And guess what? It's the same place as I needed to do my work a month ago. Putting, I was way better on the greens today than I've been in a while. I missed a few putts that I should have made, especially the one on 17, obviously. But I also made some putts that I wouldn't have expected to a week ago. Last but not least, a uh, little update. I'm going to be on vacation for the next week. I will not swing a club from Monday through Friday. Long game felt really good today. Uh, driver missed right more than left. Uh, that was my trip around Cedar Creek. That was TRGA at Cedar Creek 2023. I expect to see my... TRGA handicap drop just a little bit and hopefully then I can get uh, back in that second flight which is really the goal. I, I like winning money, money is good. I would rather be in that second flight and playing more competitive golf. Uh, the money is not the issue at all, although it is nice to uh, 
come home net positive by about a day's worth of golf. So ultimately that was good. Uh, but yeah, I want to continue to score well, low 80s, upper 70s. If I can break 80 again this year at some point, that would be good. Uh, that needs to be the goal of scoring in the 70s. You do that with boring golf and ultimately probably fewer double bogeys would be the thing to do there. We're home. Thanks for watching.